machining is at the core of manufacturing. If you don't have machining and machinists, then you don't have parts. If you don't have parts, you don't have machines. If you don't have machines, you don't have production. So machinists are pretty important to the whole manufacturing sector. If you look at any direction, any manufactured item you look at, a machinist probably had his hand in it somewhere. We have a fully equipped shop. As far as being totally equipped from the beginning to end with manual machining, the, the CAD CAM software, and the CNC equipment that we have from the Haas Machine Tool Company, we really can't be touched for as, as well um, outfitted as we are. We have 15 to 20 close business partners that come to the school and meet with, uh, with us and the, the dean uh, twice a year to make sure that our program is doing what they need in their industry, putting out people with, uh, trained in their skills, but also to back us to uh, make sure that we stay up on with the latest equipment and software. We have very skilled instructors. Um, um, on the day we have two instructors. One of them is a, a CNC su subject matter expert who owned his own um, rubber mold making shop in Cleveland. Our night instructor um, works during the day in his own shop. Uh, they know what is expected um, both uh, from a skill standpoint and also as an employee. So we are constantly telling our students what they need to do to be employable and to keep the job, not just get the skills to get the job. Currently, uh, as of February uh, 2012, um, the job market has heated up uh, even more. Even in the so-called dark days of 2007 and 8, um, my students were still getting jobs and getting hired. Now that now that things are starting to recover and manufacturing is leading the economic recovery in this country, uh, business partners are dropping in and they are addressing our classrooms and they're, they're letting it be known that they have jobs for anybody who finishes this program.